Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going through effects of temperature on P and junction diode. So basically, the rise in the temperature increase the generation of electron hole pairs. Oh my god, this is double you know, hole pairs. In the semiconductor and increases the conductivity. As a result, the current through the P and diode increases with respect to temperature. As a result, by diode current equation, we can justify that, guys. So, what's all written here is really true that we all know. So, the rise in temperature increases the generation of electron hole pairs. So, they produce some electricity. As a result, the current through the P and junction diode increases. As there is some more electricity than the input. So, it's going to increase, right? So, we can prove that using this equation also, guys. So this is our current equation, right? I is equals to I naught into E power V by eta Vt minus 1. So the reverse saturation current of the diode increases approximately 7% per degree Celsius. Okay, so this is a standard statement, guys. The reverse saturation current of a diode increases 7% per degree for both germanium calcium so, sorry, that's not calcium, that is silicon. Sorry, guys. So, approximately the reverse saturation current doubles for every 10 degrees. Okay, guys. So, now I hope everyone got a small idea on this. To bring the current I to its original value V, it has to be reduced, that is, to its room temperature, guys. Only then it's going to come back to its original state. So, at room temperature, the difference should be minus 2.5 millivolts by Celsius, per Celsius. So that will be the minimum amount to reduce it. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on this topic that we have discussed right now. So hence we can conclude that it's going to the conductivity rate or something is going to change with respect to temperature. So in the next video, we'll be going through some applications of PN junction diode, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.